All of our problems come from when we allow, listen very carefully to this, it will change your life if you've ever felt made small. The nature of human being is we like to feel big. Now, it's not healthy to think that you're better than other people, but it's also not healthy to think that you're worse than other people. Now, a healthy person starts off life and they actually feel like they're the biggest thing in the world. Why? Because they cry and the mother feeds them and they think that, wow, these big people, they are in my demand. And the proof of this is that a little child will start to throw a tantrum if you don't give them what they want because they're so used to getting their way. Then any healthy parent says, I'm sorry, you can't drive the car, you're only two. And the child starts to cry and throw these tantrums. We don't remember them, but we all did it. And then the child begins to realize, actually, I'm small and they're big. Um, and Freud says the child always wants to then become big. Maybe the boy wants to be like the father and the girl wants to be like the mother, whatever that is. However, the important thing of life is that true greatness is not being big or being small. True greatness is fulfilling the role, the reason you're here. True greatness is allowing yourself to be the servant of God, and then you have meaning and purpose in life. Now, the way people hurt people and the way we get hurt is if somebody who's small came over to you and made fun of you, it wouldn't bother you because you wouldn't accept that what they're saying has validity. You don't feel small. I don't know, for example, if a child comes over to you and says, you stink, it wouldn't bother you because, oh, it's just a little child. What do they, what do they know? What, are they, what they're saying is ridiculous. And that's why anti-Semitism never worked because a person says, oh, it's just a stupid anti-Semite. The guy's a moron anyway. But if somebody in your estimation who is big and bullies are very good at this, making themselves look good. In fact, they have to make themselves look good to themselves because they are suffering from low self-esteem. And nobody wants to feel low. And so we actually create an illusion, delusion, I'm sure I have some of it, in which we feel so great, even though we're just regular people, we're just normal people, we're not better and we're not worse. And so in summary, it says in the Zohar, a very great line, it says, Man de ihu rav Whoever thinks that they're great is really small. And man de ihu zeir, whoever thinks that they're small, particularly as you're older, and you haven't allowed, or the ego hasn't entered you, Ihuda, this is the person that's great. So if you want to judge yourself, never judge yourself by somebody who really is small but looks big, is saying because they're actually not big, they're actually small, they're actually they're a little bit defective, their personality and their idea of themselves is a lie, it's just not true. Rather, judge yourself based on the truly great people, such as Lubavitch Rebbe, who say, listen, you're a choice of God. God himself says, I love you. I chose you. Here are some good things to do in this world. You make this world. Thank you so much.